Pregnancy is an ideal time to get smart about your blood pressure, and it is important to continue monitoring your blood pressure after your baby is born. Preeclampsia is a pregnancy complication characterized by high blood pressure and signs of damage to other organs, like the liver and the kidneys. Some women can get preeclampsia after giving birth, called postpartum preeclampsia. High blood pressure may also affect your health after pregnancy for years to come. Your blood pressure will determine how your care is managed before, during, and after delivery. You can take charge of your health by understanding how blood pressure is measured, what it means, and what you should do with the results. Blood pressure is the force of your blood against the walls of your arteries. High blood pressure means the force is higher than it should be. This video will teach you the proper way to use an automatic blood pressure monitor at home, like one of these. Finding the right cuff size is important. You can determine your cuff size by wrapping a soft measuring tape around your arm halfway between the elbow and shoulder. Most monitors fit a wide range of arms from 9 to 17 inches, but if you need a larger one, be sure to get one to ensure accurate readings. Do not exercise, smoke, eat a big meal, take cold medicine, or have caffeine within 30 minutes of taking your blood pressure. Before you take your blood pressure, go to the bathroom and empty your bladder. Remove any bulky clothing or sweaters. Sit quietly in a comfortable chair with good back support at a table or desk and rest for three to five minutes before taking your blood pressure. Sit with your feet flat on the floor or on a step stool. Do not cross your legs. Do not talk, look at your phone, or watch TV. Position your arms so it is resting on the table at approximately the same level as your heart. Place your left arm through the cuff and position the cuff on your bare arm just above the bend of your elbow. Pull the end of the cuff so it is even and tight around your arm and secure the Velcro fastener. You should only be able to slip two fingertips under the edge of the cuff. Almost all models have a tube that needs to be positioned over the middle of the crook in your elbow. Press start. The cuff will slowly inflate, squeezing your arm, then slowly deflate. Breathe normally during this time. When the reading is complete, you will see two numbers appear on the monitor. The top number is systolic blood pressure, which shows the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. The bottom number is diastolic blood pressure, which is the pressure in your arteries in between heartbeats. Take readings two times per day, when you get up and before bed. Log them and report them to your healthcare provider. This will give them a much better picture of your blood pressure health rather than readings taken at the doctor's office. If you are pregnant or within six weeks after the delivery of your baby, immediately report any readings to your healthcare professional where the top number is 140 or higher or the bottom number is 90 or higher. If the top number is ever higher than 160 or the bottom number is over 110, you should go to labor and delivery or an emergency room right away. If you have already had your baby, make sure to tell them you recently were pregnant. Even after pregnancy and the postpartum period, it is important to keep taking your blood pressure at home. Preeclampsia is associated with increased risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke in the years after delivery, so it's more important than ever to monitor and manage your blood pressure throughout your lifetime. Bring your blood pressure log to all doctor's appointments. Long-term weekly monitoring will help your providers keep your blood pressure at a healthy level. So in summary, keep track of your own blood pressure, know what is normal and what is high, and report high numbers to your healthcare providers. For more information, visit www.preeclampsia.org slash blood pressure. Brought to you by the Preeclampsia Foundation and the March of Dimes.